far tonight. Winds between 60 and 70 miles per hour. Plus, the storm has also been showing some signs of rotation. We always know that with any severe thunderstorm, all the ingredients could come together that you could get a tornado with little to no warning. Well, I do have a confirmed tornado on the ground, just right on the east side of town right now. There's just no warning. It just came through and, and did its damage and then left. I have three rotation. I have rooftops coming off, stop signs. We are tracking breaking news at this hour. Tornadoes touched down in parts of Kansas, leaving behind a lot of damage. The town hardest hit tonight, Eureka. In it town, virtually took a direct hit at the football field, the community activity center, and the high school. When we have a disaster, uh, we're trying to make an evaluation for public safety. Individuals that may have been caught up in the disaster. Trapped under a roof? Okay, I will get people over there, okay? It, it makes great asset for law enforcement and other responders to send a UAS or a drone to get an aerial perspective of what it is. When you have trees that are laying down and, and cars and everything else, it's so much easier and convenient to send a drone up where you can get that aerial view of those type of things where it may not be as convenient for an individual to go in on foot or by vehicle. We had a lot of trees down, a lot of power lines down. It ended up that the injuries were on the other side of the power lines from where we had our ambulances. We do not cross power lines. It left you kind of a guessing game of driving the roads that you could drive to try to find which ones were open, which ones were blocked. The benefit of a UAS after a natural disaster like a tornado is tremendously beneficial. It gives you a different perspective, a different view of the damaged area. And ultimately what that would do is save us time and also money. We've had a, a lot of recent floods across the United States. You can send a drone up and, and take a look into certain areas there that may be hazardous for an individual. Obviously, flood, that means the water goes up. So does the aerial. It is a tool that will increase the safety and ultimately will increase saving lives and not endangering personnel. I just believe that the more we use these, the more we get involved with them, they're going to be so much more beneficial that we're really just barely breaking the ice on it right now. We learned a lot from the last two tornadoes we've had. We were able to activate things in a little different manner. We were able to coordinate things a little bit better. We bounce back, we move forward, and we are resilient, and we will succeed.